Last time I introduced you to the U property macro. Today we look further into that and see how we can create conditions to show and hide certain variables in the editor based on those conditions. This can be quite useful if the relevance of certain variables is linked to other ones. Let's start with a simple example first. Let's say you have a boolean variable and an integer variable. Now you want to be able to adjust the integer when the boolean is true. But if the boolean value is false, then we basically want to prevent the adjustment of the integer value. To achieve this, we can use the meta specifier edit condition. For that, we have to provide a condition between the quotation marks. Basically, here you can enter the same conditions like you would enter in an if statement. Therefore, we can write the name of our boolean variable and then it means if the boolean variable is true, then we can edit the integer variable. This is how it looks like in the editor. When the boolean is ticked, we can also edit the integer variable. If we disable the boolean variable, then we are also not anymore able to adjust the integer variable. What you can also do is add the meta specifier edit condition hides to your integer variable. Now you can see that the integer variable disappears from the details view if the boolean variable is not ticked. And this can be quite useful to keep your details panel clean if you have a lot of variables linked to a certain condition. Next, if the purpose of a variable is to be the decider for other variables, if they can be edited or not, you can also specifically link them by adding the inline edit condition toggle, meta specifier to, in our case, the boolean variable. You can see that now the integer variable and the tick box for activating it are in the same line, which in our case makes sense since the only purpose of the boolean is currently to trigger the adjustment of the integer variable. Now, let's replace the boolean variable with another integer variable. And our new condition is if the integer gate variable is above 15, then we can adjust our integer value. And you can see even more complex statements can work with the edit condition specifier. The limitation of the edit condition specifier is that if your conditions become too complex, they become hard to set up like this. For more complex conditional checks, we can use the method can edit change. This method also allows us to create conditions to define when our properties can be adjusted. But we will have a look at that one in the next video. So remember, you can use the edit condition specifier to create simple conditions that allow you to change if a variable can be adjusted from within the editor. If you add the edit condition height specifier to your property, it will also become invisible when it cannot be edited. Lastly, you can use the inline edit condition toggle specifier to link the boolean that is part of the condition to the variable that uses the edit condition specifier. Like always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you next time.